don't work out! Whoa! Tickle me, Randy. I'm sorry. I was here first, though. We can share, can't we? I need my privacy! Whoa, man! Not cool! Gotta watch out for the guns. What I want you to do first is pair biceps with shoulders. Break the rules. Kill two stones with one bird. Start off with a hammer curl and finish with a shoulder press. Follow that with some skull crushers. But add a little spin, a little twisty thing at the top like I'm doing there. You know, spice things up a bit. Shock the system. And you don't need a ball. You can, you can lay on the floor or a bench. That'll work just fine too. Here's a fancy little old school movement for you. It'll hit both parts of your bicep and rough your forearms up while it's at it. Its name, the Zotman Curl. Let's bring back the Arnold Press for the next exercise. For this workout, perform the Arnold Press standing up. Alright, these ones can be tricky little devils. Standing dumbbell tricep extensions. Try to keep your upper arm in the same place throughout the exercise and keep your elbows close to your head. Three part curls, or 21s if you like. Each set of 21s will require seven reps for each variation of a dumbbell curl. Start by not extending through the curl for the first seven. Then extend all the way, but don't completely flex. And then for the final seven, complete the full curl. These will leave you bleeding. It's a great way to finish off your biceps. Here we're going to alternate neutral grip lateral raises into neutral grip front raises. And for each type of delt raise, do 8 reps. For this last exercise, perform a single arm tricep extension while planking. And once you're done with the one arm, switch to the other. <laughs> 